Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Let me turn this light on. All right, quick. There we go. Uh, it is good to be back. <clears throat> All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Jamal Jamal Chalo is, is boxing again. Apparently, he wants to fight Andre next. Um, Charlo tentatively is scheduled to be back to like first. That's only a month and a half away. I don't know if that's enough time to make this big fight. I hope it is, but I I, I don't I don't foresee that. I, I don't foresee that. Um all right, let's get into let's get into today's show. Uh all right, let's get into today's show. Oh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Like I said, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please also subscribe to our other uh, channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. So I just um, want to get into today's show real quick. Uh, Charlo Andre. Um, so Charlo, it's been out of the ring uh, two years now. He he last fought in, in June of 2019, and he beat uh, uh, Juan Montiel. Um, and then in 2020, he fought Sergey Derevchenko, and then he fought twice in 2019. So you know, basically, in, in in three and a half years, he's fought twice, Derevchenko. Juan Montiel, I, you know, I I don't think terrible opponents. I think you know decent quality opponents, um, but nothing really to write home about. Um, and then it's been two years out of the ring. Uh, you know, he, he's never lost his belt. He's never been forced to take a mandatory. He's never, you know, nothing. He's just been able to hang around. Um, that's unfortunate, right? Like he should have been made to fight. You know, you go back, um, it, he's just, there's so much inactivity with this guy, right? Um, you know, you go through his resume, Derevchenko is, is is the best name at 160 by far. Montiel, Dennis Hogan, Cannon Adams, Korobov, uh, you know, a lot of people think he lost that fight, but I, I think Korobov is a good name. I do. Um, yeah, a lot of people think he lost that fight, though. Hugo Santanio Jr. Mm, and then uh, Jorge Sebastian Highland. And and, and, and by the way, um, yeah, this is just not. And then you, you go back to 54, and then he's got really good names at 54. And J-Rock, Austin Trout, Cornelius K-9 Bundridge. But now we're going back eight years already. Um, so we see that he never really developed like he should. He's been an active, you know, a super, super talent. I, at one point, thought this was the guy that could beat Canelo at 60. Obviously, that never happened. He really hasn't fought. He's been an active. And, and then to make that, you know, even more interesting, he's going to fight Andre. You know, Andre has not been a beacon of activity either. You know, he, he fought. He did not fight at all in 2022. He fought Damon Nicholson on that tank cart in uh, – the Capital One Arena. That was back in January. He fought twice in 21, but didn't fight in 2022, and fought once in 2020. You know, also, since the pandemic, he's fought three times. He did fight Luke Keeler right before the pandemic started. He had a ninth round TKO. Um, 2019, he fought twice. 2018, he fought once. These guys just aren't active anymore. You know, we, we haven't seen a bunch, uh, you know, a lot of, of, Demetrius Andre. You know, we, we saw him destroy Quigley. Um, you know, you go to his his resume. You know, Saliski is, is the best name on his, and that was back in 2019. As Saliski, 
Yeah, he has fought. He's fought a couple of times, and then he's fighting again. Okay, he's fought twice in Poland, um, and now he's fighting uh, a 10, 12, and two fighter at the Turning Stone on that's Hall of Fame weekend. Um, yeah, this isn't great. That was a guy, so this guy I thought really didn't really pan out. Uh, but he, he he's coming back. He's fought twice, and he's fighting on, on Hall of Fame weekend at Turningstone Casino. Um, so it would be an intriguing fight because neither of these guys fight. No one has fought anyone at 160 or above, right? They, they haven't been active. They haven't been competitive. They, they haven't fought much. Um, you know, Charlo is technically two-time world champion, and so is Andre. Um, I this would be a, a, a legacy fight because the winner would at least have a good name on their resume at 160 or above. Um, you know, it, it seems hard. It seems weird that they would make this fight because neither guy fights anyone good and neither guy really fights much at all. And this this inactivity, this... It's really bringing down the sport, right? There's just not fights... And there's not good fights, so people get hyped up for Tank versus Ryan Garcia. And Tank versus Ryan Garcia is a prospect or a non-top 10 pound-for-pound guy. But if you go through your top 10 pound-for-pound list, most of these guys just don't fight. You know, Jamel Chawla fights once a year. Earl Spence fights every year and a half. Terrence Crawford only fights once a year, maybe, right? Like, he fights once a year. It's, these guys just aren't active. So now you get Charlo and you get Andre, and, you know, you, you go through from 2022 till present. Between the two of them, they have fought once. <laughs> and that was a tune-up fight. You know, I, I'm intrigued by the fight. You know, it's a good fight, I guess. You know, we've been trying to make this fight for, I feel like, six years. But then you, you go through it and you look at it. So in the last, you know, two years, 2022 and 2023, they have fought a combined one time against Damon Nicholson. You know, Charles fought zero times, and... Uh, <clears throat> Andre's fought, um, uh, and Charlo hasn't fought at all. You know, Charlo is a master boxer puncher. He's really skilled. He's got a really educated jab. He knows how to set up distances. He knows how to walk his opponents in. He knows how to walk his opponents into right hands. He's good. Andre is highly skilled. He's quick. He's athletic. He's got good pop. He's, he's long, he's rangy, he's big and strong. Like, both these guys have so much that you like about them. Uh, but they haven't done it. They haven't proven it. And, and like, this fight would just – both these fighters represent every single thing that's wrong with boxing in 2023. Um, I, I hope the fight gets made. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not counting on – just like I'm not counting on, on, on Crawford and Spence getting made. Um, but we'll see. Um, this fight, I don't think it gets made. I hope it does. I hope I'm wrong. I think it's a good fight. I don't know what weight it would be at. You know, um, I guess it would be at 68. That would mean Charlo would have to give up his belt. I, you know, they, they've let him hold on to that belt for two years for not fighting. I don't know if he would do that. Um, you know, these guys have talked and trash talked for years. I don't see this fight happening. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it gets done? And do you want to see Because I wouldn't mind seeing it. Um, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is now May 17th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.